Welcome back to Kids Corner. I'm Brancy. And I'm Jovi. And we have some things that we hope will help you with school starting that we wanted to share. It's called A Shy Person's Guide to, to Making Friends, friends at, at School. school. Why would we need to do that, Jovi? Because a lot of us struggle to talk to new people at school. But meeting new people does not have to be scary. Okay, so these are some things we can remember. Yeah. All right. So, number one. Use conversation starters to get. So that means think of something that might be interesting and then, or just might kind of open the door to a conversation like, Jovi, I really like those pants. Where'd you get those? I oh, got yeah, them from Target. Thank you. All right. Second one. You take that one. Spend time with your friends' friends. Hanging out with friends of friends can be a great way to meet new people. It's always less awkward if you have someone to introduce you and something to talk about. Okay, so let's see if we know, if we could explain that. Um, let's say you have a friend named Allie. Mm -hmm, I do. And I know Allie, but I don't know you, but I know y'all are friends. Mm -hmm. So I might come to you and go, hey, I think I heard your name is Jovi, and you're friends with my friend Allie. So I think it would be fun if we got to know each other. Okay, number three, speak to someone who's on their own. So what that means is if you're on the playground and you notice someone by their self, maybe go to them and you know, maybe say, oh, I noticed that you're, um, maybe you would like some company. Yeah. Okay, or even in the cafeteria if they're eating alone. You might say, oh, I don't have a place to sit. Can I sit next next yeah. to you right here? All right. Look for common interests. So you're thinking in your mind maybe, oh, I love that girl's One Direction badge. So you decide to tell her, your, your badge is great. I like One Direction too. And they would probably say something like, thanks, who's your favorite member? Okay, very good. So you're having something in common with somebody. Yeah. All right. Be approachable. That means if you're out on the playground and you're just on your phone, mm -hmm. someone's probably not gonna come up to you to talk with you because they'll think that you're busy or mm -hmm. you're not interested. Yeah. Or if you keep headphones on or earphones, you yeah. would pay attention. Or sometimes people just kind of have a little scowl on their face, like they look angry, or they keep their hood over their head and just yeah. look like, they don't want anybody to bother them. Yeah. So if you want to meet new people, you have to be approachable. Okay, and what's our last one? Ask open questions. So open so, questions are what? Questions that can have an answer more than just yes or no. Yeah. Okay. So there is the wrong way to ask open questions and the right way to. So the wrong way is, did you have a good summer? Yeah. And just be silent. The right way is, how was your summer? It was great, I went on holiday. What did you get up to do? I stayed at home and played a lot of football. Did you play on a team? Okay, so that gets conversation going. Okay, so let's review before you do our scripture, our six ways, all right? Use conversation starters. Mm -hmm. Number two. Spend time with your friend's friends. Number three, speak to someone who's on their own. Look for common interests. Be approachable. Ask open questions. Okay, so what does our Bible say about friends, Jovi? So there is two scriptures. There is Ecclesiastes, right? Mm -hmm. Four, nine through 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his pillow. Okay. So that means if there's one person, if they need help with something, it'll just be their own. But if you're with a friend, and it's two people, then if someone needs help with something, then they'll help them. Okay, like with homework? Yeah. Or with building something? Yeah. Right, okay, and what's our other one? Luke six thirty one, And as you wish that others would do you do, do to you, do so to them. 
That means that, would you want someone to trip you? I would. No. Would you want someone to punch you? Nope. You want to want someone to be mean to you? If you do that to them, what if they do it back to you? Or, in other words, that golden rule, remember? Mm -hmm. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Mm -hmm. Treat okay. others the way you want to be. Treat others the way, uh, lots of ways to say it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, all right, well, let's go ahead and pray. Do you want me to pray today? Mm -hmm. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for our lesson on having conversations. This new school year is creeping up quickly and there'll be a lot of children that go to school and might feel a little shy and awkward. So let them remember that you're with them and help them to think back on this video so that they can learn some ways to meet new people. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, I'll go turn us off. Thank you, Jovi. Bye.